Good day, Cancer, and welcome to my channel. This is your monthly reading for April 2024. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Four clubs. Jack of Spades, Two of Hearts, and the Four of Spades. So, hmm. your main card is the four of spades uh loneliness yeah there's gonna be some loneliness uh possibly some depression maybe even some partner disappointment you know disappointment in your partner um and this will probably be going on throughout the whole week so you're gonna be dealing with this um the the cards say to search elsewhere for answers like don't search in yourself don't search in your partner search elsewhere and one of those searches would be with a friend a good friend you want to seek out the friend that is going to help you positively you know uh you don't want to seek out the friend that thinks that drugs and alcohol or um crazy wild cheating sex or whatever is is the way to go you know you don't want the party friend you want the real friend the real friend that you can tell stuff to and they're going to tell you the truth about it they're not going to dick you around you know you want that one friend that uh will lift you up you know bring you up you know do something positive with you know their 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 way of uh dealing with things ain't just you know uh bullshit it's it's real you know shit they get you out there they get you going you know they'll get you to do fun things that aren't destructive to yourself you know um so that's what you want to look for uh you also want to look into positive music and positive entertainment uh because we tend to when we're lonely or we're depressed or we're dealing with a disappointment in our partner we tend to go towards the negative songs you know, um, and a lot of times negative songs can actually empower us, but it empowers us to s go more towards the negative than the positive. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but that's normal for everybody. Everybody does that. I even do that, you know, when I'm down or whatever I go towards, or if I'm angry, I go towards that kind of entertainment. Uh, mostly to let myself know then I'm not alone. I'm not alone in those feelings. I'm not alone in that kind of situation, you know, and I think that's how it is for everybody is we tend to magnetize towards those things because it makes us feel a little bit better. But that small, you know, part of feeling a little bit better because you're not alone doesn't really help the situation. It won't help you feel less lonely or depressed or disappointed in your partner. You need positive reinforcing, um, entertainment you know just like your friend you want that positive friend you want that positive entertainment um at the beginning of the month um you need to celebrate your life you got the four of clubs here celebrate your life uh know that you're blessed you know uh you are blessed you're probably thinking that you need something but it's not really a need it's it's more of a want uh, and our wants are always there, you know, or there always will be something that we want. So what you need to do is realize that you have your needs. And, uh, you know, part of the uh, depression could be about the fact that you can't get whatever this is that you want. Um, it might mean a lot to you, you know, uh, but you need to be happy with what you need because you have what you need roof over your head food in your belly kids are doing great whatever whatever it is uh you are blessed you have blessings good blessings that you need uh your wants can wait you need to rest right now you've been doing too much and i feel like you've been doing too much to get whatever this is that you're wanting uh so take a break realize 
how blessed you are already and celebrate that, you know, celebrate that with your friends and family that you're blessed, you know, um, in the middle of the month, um, yeah, it looks like you need to let out your rebel yell. It's time for you to be a rebel. Now, a lot of times this can be politically. So, I mean, if you're into politics or whatever, maybe this, uh, maybe the middle of the month you're going to be doing, um, some kind of political, you know, uh, protest or whatever it can be anything like that or presenting some kind of political um paperwork or whatever uh but all missions are possible whatever the hell it is that you're wanting to do are possible and that doesn't have to be a political that can be you're wanting to travel or you're wanting to you know do a project or whatever you just need to go at it like a rebel you know don't care what other people think uh, you know, stick to what you know and what you want to do and be that rebel and let your rebel yell out, you know. Uh, at the end of the month, there's new passionate love coming towards you. You got the lover's card, yeah. Uh, so there is somebody coming towards you or you are going towards somebody. But either way, there will be new lo passionate love uh, come the end of the month. Uh, now, this can be a forever person. This can be who you're with and, and your guys' relationship just becomes really passionate all of a sudden here at the end of the month for some reason, um, which is a great thing because if you're having disappointment in your partner, that's great to see that at the end of the uh, you know month, uh, things are going to get a lot better. Um, you know, maybe you're the rebel by saying what you need from your partner. Uh, but anyway, uh, but, but this could be like a... This could be just a fly-by-night, you know, uh, passionate love. Somebody that comes into your life, gives you what you need, and and then they're gone. It can be that, too. But either way, it's going to be new. It's going to be passionate. Yeah, so you're probably going to have a pretty good time at the end of the month. Uh, definitely. Let's go ahead and see what the uh, tarot cards have to say. Universe Speak. Spirit's Guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> the cards couldn't say it more. You got the lover's card again. So this could be a Gemini because this is Gemini energy. So this could be a Gemini coming up in your life here at the end of the month. But definitely you're going to have some new passionate love uh, coming up. And this could be a forever person. This could be somebody that's going to be in your life um, for a while. I'm not for sure if I believe in forever. But I think this is somebody... I believe when we say forever is that it's somebody that impacts us like so much. And that we're with them for quite a while. So this really could be... Uh, something lasting coming up or like I said it could just be somebody that comes in and really uh, touches you touches your heart you know touches those love strings and makes you feel really great so yeah prepare for that I mean you're gonna be you're gonna start out lonely and depressed and all that stuff but I think you'll find that friend that positive friend the positive entertainment um, you know know that you're blessed relax you don't need everything right now you know, things that we want can wait. You need your rest. And be the rebel when it comes to the things that you want out of life. All missions are possible. And then get ready. Get ready for some really great love at the end of the month. I mean, this, I mean, th both coming up, you know, that, that can't scream it enough. So there you go. I really hope this uh, resonates with you, and if it does, hit that like button, and if you would, please comment, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you back here next month, and until then, stay safe, stay mindful, and stay healthy.